Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, the Lord High Priest has passed away. Our prayers go with him. Now he sits beside the goddess. There are those intent on making spurious allegations about the circumstances surrounding his passing. But I can assure you, he died a natural death. And I tell you this, I have no intention of becoming the next Lord High Priest. Or rather, I have no intention of becoming another hollow idol like all those we have had to endure until now. I ask you, what is a king? A king is but a man born into the right family. Should that give him the right to do whatever he pleases? Be waited on hand and foot and answer to no man? A soldier demanding such treatment would never be tolerated. Even if such a soldier had the stature of a king, he would never be allowed to escape the social class into which he was born. I am such a soldier, born out of wedlock and thrown out of my own home. A commoner like me has no right to be Lord High Priest. That is the belief of the church. Yes, such positions of weighty responsibility should be filled exclusively by incompetent aristocrats. A great, noble and righteous holiness. Whatever did he achieve? A sorrowful prayer for our uncertain world? Perhaps. But certainly nothing more. The Lord High Priest, our kings, our goddess, all of them re- But I am different. For I have not one drop of nobility in my veins. Yet I am here, and only as a result of nothing but my own merit. Follow me! It is time to oust our artless rulers. It is time to choose a new leader. So, you have a choice. Follow me. Or meet your fate, just as those intruders shall. Now it's time to use my power. should have stayed away. But if you stand between me and my destiny, you leave me no choice.
believe it? How could you? One, but with your help, I can finally control this flesh as my own. Now that this fool has disposed of the Lord High Priest for me, the final heir is no more, and the seal of the scepter is broken! Yes! The time has come. For my resurrection! Now! Complete my revival. My revival to flesh and blood! What? What are you doing? 
Let me go! If you hadn't interfered, I could have had all of Rapthorn's power. But it's all over now. All hope is gone. Let me go! I don't want your help! No! I won't let you die! You will go on living, knowing that the brother you despised your whole life took pity on you. I won't let you have everything your own way. You're determined to disgrace me more? You! More than ten years. It was more than ten years ago that I first came to the Abbey, having lost my family. And you were the first person I spoke to. I had nothing. No family, no home. I was all alone, and I didn't know anyone at the Abbey. You were kind to me. Just for those first few moments. As soon as you found out who I was, it changed everything. But I never forgot that moment of kindness. You will regret the day you saved my life. You know, I really don't care. Do your worst. You can't hurt me anymore. Isn't this your ring? Your Templar's ring? It's yours. It means nothing to me now. Angelo. Are you just going to let him leave? He's really badly hurt. living under a sky like this. It's stained the color of blood. Does this mean we're nearing the end of our journey? 
being cursed seems trivial compared to the thought of Rathborn ruling over the world. That's why you have to defeat him. Everyone's lives are at stake. Do you think I'll return to my normal self if you win? Or do you think I'll have to spend the rest of my days as a horse? Once everything is peaceful again, I want to travel the world together with you. Even if, because that way, I won't have to marry that awful man and lose you. I'd be happy to spend the rest of my life carrying you on my back and taking you wherever you wanted to go. If that happens, please take care of me. I'd never leave your side. I promise.